my channel and if you're new what up so you guys today i have my january perfume tray and this is actually going to be my january slash february perfume tray because a lot of the perfumes that i'm gonna put on this tray i'm actually going to be taking on my move with me so while all of the rest of my perfumes are packed away i'm going to be using these perfumes basically until i can get my full collection back and as we go on through the month and we get closer to me moving, I might change these perfumes and I might add to it. I really don't know. Um, these are just the perfumes for right now that I'm thinking that I would be a-okay with, you know, having only those while the rest of my collection is packed away. So yes, I'm going to clear all of these perfumes off of the tray so that I can just keep what I want. Um, from this particular perfume tray, I know that I am going to keep YSL Libre. Now, I, I'm probably not going to keep this one for my move because y'all know I don't love this fragrance, but I only wore this once and I want to wear it some more. Like I, I just really want to get my thoughts together on this perfume because I don't know what it is. I just am never inclined to reach for this perfume. So this one will be staying. All of the rest of these, I think, all of the rest of these can go back except for also my Ariana Grande Cloud um, Intense because I will be taking that one for sure on my move. So everything else is leaving. And by the way, I did actually finish off this Killian Princess. You guys would have saw that in my Perfume Empties video. If you didn't see that one, I will go ahead and link it up in the cards. You guys can see all of the Perfume Empties that I currently have in my collection as well as perfumes that I am almost empty with. I did a video on that, so I will link that as well. Okay, the tray is empty, the tray is clean. Let's get started with what I'm going to be bringing on my tray. First one that I wanna bring on my tray is going to be my Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. And the reason why I wanna bring this one is because I have been loving Sparkling Cream from Victoria's Secret. And if you guys saw my layering video, then you know that I love Sparkling Cream with Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. I also layered it with another perfume that I just got into my collection, but I don't think just yet I wanna take that one um but i am putting it on this tray because i do want to use it a couple more times for the month of january and i will decide then if i want to add it to my tray but Nicki minaj pink friday is basically just like this really watery tropical fruity scent it has notes of caramel and vanilla but i do not get those at all like i mean there is a softness to the scent but what you mainly get is like really really watery tropical exotic fruits and it's perfect with sparkling cream so i love that perfume combination Okay, and then the other perfume that I want to bring onto the tray that also mixes well with sparkling creme is Paris Hilton Luxe Rush. So this is very, very new to my collection. I've only had this perfume for a few days now, probably about a week now. Um, I think it is a gorgeous perfume. It is super feminine, super sexy. It's very heavy on the patchouli. Like this is literally a heavy, perfumey, dressy, formal type of perfume. It really is. Like literally the depiction of the bottle, that's what the fragrance smells like. Um, I would definitely say that if you are not into patchouli, you would not like that fragrance. Um, it's a white floral perfumey patchouli type of fragrance it does have a milk mousse note but honestly you should not pay a lot of attention to that milk mousse note because it's not it's not a super creamy like decadent or gourmand fragrance at all like there's just a blended roundness smoothness to that fragrance and i think that is because of the milk mousse anyway Moving on, y'all, y'all gonna be shocked that I'm bringing this perfume on my tray, but for whatever reason, I'm really, I'm really drawn to like these kind of freshy, sweet scents, like for whatever reason. So I'm gonna be bringing on Japanese Cherry Blossom. Now I haven't used this in a while and y'all see there's no dent in here because when I use this, I go very lightly because this is not a favorite scent of mine, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, I can see why people love it. I can see why it's an appreciated type of scent. And then I also see why people hate it. I also see why this is always considered like an elderly woman perfume, a grandma perfume, whatever you want to call it. I can see why people say that. But there is a prettiness about this perfume. And honestly, honestly, you guys, wearing this gets you compliments i ain't gonna even sit up here and cap i ain't gonna hold you wearing this fragrance gets you compliments because you literally just smell classic 
pretty, fresh, delicate, dainty. Like that's what you smell like, really and truly. So I'm adding that onto the tray and we'll see. We'll see how much I actually use her, okay? Um, another fragrance that I want to bring onto the tray and I want to bring this one to take with me because I want to finish this one like completely completely finish it and this is my Giorgio Armani My Way. Now if you guys look at my Giorgio Armani My Way y'all know that the liquid for this perfume is usually a pink tinted color. Why is mine basically clear? Or it has it has a color to it but it, it's not pink. So um it doesn't smell different. It still smells exactly as I remember it when I first got it. It's still a super florally sweet tuberose bubblegum type of scent that I really, really enjoy. But the fact that, you know, my juice has turned, I don't know. Maybe it's not going to last as long as it used to. Maybe it's not going to project well. I'm not really sure. But the fact that my juice has turned colors, I want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of it, especially because that isn't like a vanilla heavy perfume. You know how sometimes vanilla heavy perfumes, they get a darker tint to them because of the vanilla. That's not one of those cases. So I really feel like my perfume has gone bad and it's crazy because I haven't had it that long. I've had that perfume since the beginning of 2021 or maybe the very tail end of 2020. But it's just a 30 mil, so I will be able to get rid of it, okay? Um, another kind of freshy, dainty, pretty scent that I wanna bring onto my tray. This is Victoria's Secret Bear. This was just on my tray um, when I first got this. I did put it on my perfume tray, but I really wanna enjoy it more now. So this is supposed to be your um, chemistry changing type of perfume. So once you put it on your skin, it's supposed to you know, um, adjust to your skin in chemistry um for this one it's very pretty to me like this one is so so pretty and i think the reason why it's pretty is because the citrus and the violet in this does give it that kind of fresh florally feel but the sandalwood in this is so heavy and sensual and sexy i really really enjoy this perfume i feel like if it did not have the addition of that sandalwood keeping it grounded I wouldn't like this one. I would not like it. So it's definitely kind of crisp, kind of fresh and just like deep and woody. And I love it. And I really want to keep wearing it. Super, super nice. Okay, um, and then one of my favorites that I'm bringing onto the tray, I want to use my pink sugar. I want to use this one. I just want to enjoy it. You know, I have a nice dent going in this one and I just want to keep using it. And I feel like I would be able to mix this with so much, like probably whatever I bring with me on my move, I would be able to mix pink, uh, pink sugar with it because y'all know it's just sugary sweet, cotton candy, vanilla caramel like all of the sweet sugary girly things like it's super nice always a good one always a good reach so i want to wear it and y'all know i have been showing so much attention to my truly perfume that i want to give pink sugar it shine okay so then i have an unexpected perfume this is a zara perfume and this one is cherry smoothie so when i first got this i was expecting it to be a tom ford lost cherry dupe it is not a Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe. Something about this one is different. This one almost has like that cherry pit smell. Like it definitely smells like a cherry perfume, but there's something in the background that gives me like cherry pit, okay? Um, and I, I haven't worn this enough to really get my thoughts together on it, and so I want to. And so that's the reason why I wanna bring this onto my tray to see how I get along with it, especially because this is a big 100 ml bottle. Like we need to see, we need to see what's up with that, okay? So I'm pulling that one on. Um, again, because I don't really know about it, I don't think that I'm gonna take it with me on my move, but for the rest of January, I just wanna use it, wear it, and see what I think about it. This is a fragrance that you guys would have saw me talk about in my winter favorites video, and I wanna pull it out to use. This is my Carol's Daughter Almond Cookie Eau de Toilette. So I think that I will definitely bring this on my move with me just because like I told y'all in my favorites video, I have been loving to mix this one in with my lotions and body butters at night. And it really, it, it does what it's supposed to do, okay? It lulls me to sleep. It smells pretty and clean. Um, it mixes amazingly well with gourmand. So wrapped in vanilla and this have been doing it for me. Um, and then I can still smell it on myself when I wake up. It's super long lasting, like crazy. So I think that... I will be taking that one. And so I want to put it on my tray right now to enjoy it. 
Okay, um, and then let me show y'all this mini before I show y'all these three new fragrances that I just got to my collection. So we have my Flower Bomb mini, and I do have a little refill um, canister for this. So I just want to put this on here because I want to use it. We'll put her to the front. I love Flower Bomb. Um, it's literally what it says, a Flower Bomb. It's a really pretty floral, feminine, sweet scent. I, I just love Flower Bomb. It's like a sugary floral scent in my opinion. I always love that one. So we're gonna leave that right there. Now for these three new perfumes that I got to my collection. So the first one is one that I never thought that I would buy. This is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. And I had this on my list because my best friend was raving about it. And I remember when she told me about it, I was like, ew, I don't like that fragrance. And she was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Because I really feel like you would love this. And I was like, mm -mm, I don't like that fragrance. And she was like, are you talking about the warm cashmere or are you talking about the fresh cream? And I was like, I don't know which one I smelled at Ulta, but I smelled one of them and it smelled like spoiled milk, straight up spoiled cream, spoiled milk, spoiled buttermilk. Like it was nasty. And she was like, yeah, that must have been the fresh cream. You need to get the fresh cream warm cashmere. And she just kept talking it up, kept talking it up. So I decided to go and smell it. And this is nice. This reminds me of something that I have in my collection and I just cannot quite put my finger on it. Like I'm thinking about it and I've been smelling it today and I just really don't know what it is. It kind of gives me a similar vibe to the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Oil, but it also gives me the vibe of something else. And I just can't think of it, but I do want to wear it. Brand new bottle, just got it. And I want to wear it and you know, just get my thoughts together on it. And I also feel like that one would pair really, really well with all of the things that I mentioned in my winter favorites video. So yeah, it had to come on. And then the last two fragrances that I have, these are from Okja. So these are my dupe fragrances. Italian Cello is a dupe for Zerjoff's Lyra. And then Secret Duchess is a dupe for Killian Princess. So I just got both of these from the Okja website. And I was super excited to try this because they are a dupe fragrance house. And I knew for a fact I wasn't paying the money for the Zerjoff Lyra and then Killian Princess. Since I have been seeing the old bottles of Killian Princess being bought by people at the CCO for like literally under $70, I'm super upset. I don't want to pay the $120, $130 for a new bottle that they're selling at Sephora. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So... I decided to get the dupes from Okja and I will be having a full video review coming about these fragrances because I do have some thoughts on both of these. And these are 30 ml bottles. Anywho, so those are both going on to my perfume tray and then we're gonna put back Libre. So yes, you guys, this is going to be it for my perfume tray. Not a whole lot I'm bringing on here, but you know, I really don't need to take a lot with me when I move. I really don't. <laughs> so this is going to be the tray that I'm going to be using for the rest of January. And then, like I said, I will get my thoughts together on what scents I actually want to take with me on my move and use all the way through February until I get my house unpacked and I can have my full collection again. So yeah, this is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my current perfume tray. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what's on your perfume tray for January and if you're new you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace